so far. How about a St. Patrick's Day getaway? You can travel with Maggie to find out where and how. Award-winning travel journalist uh, Maggie Espinoza joins us. And there's a way to travel the world and, and find these great St. Patrick's Day celebrations, even close by. So yes, thanks yes. for coming in. Well, thanks for having me. Okay, so we're going to start with Ireland. We would be amiss if we didn't start with Dublin, Ireland. the birthplace. All right, Dublin, Ireland, wonderful. But you know what? They celebrate St. Patty's Day as more of a family event. It's a citywide event. They have venues everywhere where you can go to an open mic storytelling or you can go to the zoo and they have something going on and boat rides it's and not comedy green beer. clubs. And I'm sure there's a little bit of Guinness involved, <laughs> but they really have it more of a family affair. But, okay, we can't all go to Dublin, Ireland, but... We could go to Dublin, California, which really? I love. There's a Dublin, California. It's called the Bay Area's Backyard. And what they do is they have a three-day event. It's their 33rd annual event that they're doing this. They've been doing it for years. So anyway, they have a Why three-day. Why not with the day. name, right? I know. I mean, they're, they're cashing in on it, I should say. So anyway, they start Friday night, and they're having the green and white gala, which is sit-down dinner and cocktails and dancing, et cetera. Next day, pancake breakfast. Next day, festival and parade, et cetera. And then Sunday, they wrap it up with a 5K run and more of the festival, et cetera. So it's really fun. And you can stay at a Holiday Inn up there for $100. Oh. So it's not going to break the bank to go up and do this. It'll be something fun. So what are some other California options then for those of us celebrating St. Well, Patrick's Day? We have a little time to plan. Yeah, if you want to go a little closer, <laughs> okay, I love this. Los Angeles is Irish pub crawl, okay? Ooh, and that sounds so a little scary. they have this one bar. It's called Rock and Riley's, and their mascot is a drunken toddler named Riley. And so Riley's walking around like my first pacifier was a bottle of Jameson. I mean, it's just crazy. It is this bacchanal that goes on. <laughs> and what they do is they have nine bars. They have a hundred kegs of beer. They have food trucks. They have DJs. The whole nine yards. So far, 635 people have RSVP'd to go to this event. <laughs> All right, it's huge, and then it's a big pub crawl, isn't it? It's yeah. like a big block party right there near them, and they're in West Hollywood in WeHo. Mm -hmm. But if you want to do something a little more laid back, you could go about three miles away over in the Fairfax area and do Molly Malone's. And that's a pub that's been owned by the same family and operated for 43 years. So they have all the food and the green beer and all that and stuff, but a little less crazy. And they do have the big event here in San Diego. They have the Shamrock here, which is really fun. If you haven't done it, I always tell people to go. I've gone a couple of times. And it's I down the gas lamp quarter. It's yeah. very fun. And it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a big event as well. But, you know, another thing you could do is the Queen Mary up in Long Beach, which I love this idea. Because have you been on the Queen Mary? I haven't. I've been on the Queen Elizabeth. I came from London to the States on that. On the Queen Elizabeth. Well, now the original Queen Mary is a hotel. And they're having an How event fun. called the Shamrock and Roll. And the promenade deck is going to be open. And the different salons will have music. And they'll have food. And they'll have bangers and mash. And if you lived in London, you'll know about bangers <laughs> and mash, which is sausage and mashed potatoes. And they're going to have pub trivia. And they're going to have different dancing, et cetera. And then you can stay on the Queen Mary because it's a hotel. It's oh, how fun. It's only $200 a night. Yeah, and it's beautiful. And you could, oh, okay, the other thing you could do on the Queen Mary is you could take their haunted tour. It's, I, I've done it. It's really, really Can you go any time of year for that? Or? Oh, yeah. The haunted oh. tour any time of year. But you could go for the Shamrock and Roll, and it really would be fun, I think, to stay on the Queen Mary. Okay, so let's talk about your books, too. You, you've written a uh, pet-friendly travel guide. I mean, you I have, have such a great job. Oh, thank you. Seriously. Thank you. I'm extremely fortunate. I and love then, my job. And then a second one on a mission that's coming out, or it came out in August. On a Mission is out, and it's about my 800-mile walk to visit California's 21 <laughs> missions. I know, it's like, ah! But anyway, it was really, really fun. It was a great experience. I met the most wonderful people, and I ended up chronicling it every day, the walk, and then I turned it into a book with the photos. Yeah. So it was very fun. It was a great experience. Okay, so people are watching this probably want to do what you do because the job sounds so glamorous and wonderful, but you teach a class. Talk about I that. I do. I teach a class at San Diego Writers, Inc., and it's over in Liberty Station. And what I do, it's a four-hour class that people come in, and I teach them how they can pitch editors, how they can write a query, how they can learn about guidelines, how they can write manuscripts, social media, because we all know that social media is huge now. You know, print so much is kind of, you know, keeping its, its own, but 
social media is really huge. So I teach all the different ins and outs of that. And we have so much fun because it's very, we all sit around a table mm -hmm. and people banter ideas back and forth and we're oh, having a good time. Fun. There's a lot of passion in that room, I imagine. Oh, yeah. So uh, and Maggie Espinoza, thank you so much for coming with us. Thank you for we'll having me. We'll have the information linked to our website, too, for yep. you. Yep, and on mine, too. Travel Happy with Maggie. Happy traveling. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Happy St. Patty's Day. Yes, it's coming up. It's around the corner.